For generations, Arizona's deserts have attracted and inspired American artists and creatives. It was here that architect Frank Lloyd Wright built his iconic winter home, Taliesin West, in the foothills of the McDowell Mountains outside of Scottsdale, Arizona. It's now the home of the Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation, where Nikki Stewart is head of engagement. Taliesin West has a long history of artists and architects living and working here, but not a very long history of doing art exhibitions. Beautiful. Beautiful. Glass artist Dale Chihuly, an admirer of Wright's incorporation of design with nature, is the first artist allowed to display his work at Taliesin West. Oh yeah, it's a dream come true. I mean, Taliesin West is such an incredible complex and it's a really a great honor to be able to make six installations. The exhibit named Chihuly in the Desert includes his alabaster and amber interpretation of desert flora and red reeds and bulbous glass floats in the surrounding pond. It took four years of working and reworking the designs between the Taliesin team in Arizona and the Chihuly studio team in Seattle where the thousands of hand-blown glass pieces for the installations were made. Dale Chihuly's wife, Leslie, is the head of Chihuly's studio and workshop. The idea was to really work in concert with nature, to first notice the nature, appreciate the surroundings, and cite works and cite architecture in a way that was complementary to and not dissonant to the, the beautiful natural surroundings. She says her husband's fascination with Frank Lloyd Wright started in college, where Dale Chihuly originally studied architecture before becoming a glass artist. It's nice the way you look through it. Yeah. I think it's very much a dance of heat and light, and it's a dance of vision, and it's a dance of experimentation playfulness, building on ideas, and you can see, even, even if you look at the works around this property, the two of them both have a real curious mind and a hungry mind when it comes to beauty, and beautiful objects, and then placing things within the you know, interior and exterior settings. They're both inspired by the natural world, by nature, and they feel like the organic architecture of the world, of nature, of the trees and the ground and the mountains should determine how either the building or the sculpture sits in its space. 30 minutes south of Wright's home is Phoenix's Desert Botanical Garden, where Chihuly's desert interpretations were first displayed in 2008. I think that you could refer to it as the agave on steroids. These Elaine McGinn is director of experience at the Botanical Garden, which collaborated with Taliesin West on this Chihuly in the Desert exhibition, currently on display at both locations. You see the agave is a much uh, shorter form, uh, but the spiky points of it, the way it catches the light, and also the elongation that he creates, really drawing your eye to it. Visitors from around the country have their own reactions to this mix of art and desert. I was really surprised at how beautiful the juxtaposition of the art and the nature was. I have a boat in the middle of the desert filled with all these colors. At first glance, you would say, well, this isn't indigenous to the desert at all. Every color that you see in this boat, you can find here in the garden. The orange of some of the cactus flowers that are blooming, and then we've got greens and yellows and reds. During the day, the light is reflected off of the, the sunlight, um, and it changes and transforms throughout the day until we get to the sunset. The sunlight becomes more subdued. The lights that are on each of the installations start to come on and uh, illuminate the pieces, and the colors shift. The forms become more evident as you're looking at the pieces, so it's a very different experience. It, it was really very good combination of you know natural plants and you know, some combination with uh, some artificial things, which all good very well. Very well designed. As popular as the exhibit has been, there were concerns about how Chihuly's art would work with Wright's austere architecture and the environment. There may have been some concern about what the final effect would be, because for so long people have come here to see Frank Lloyd Wright's architecture in a desert landscape without interference. You can have any kind of experience you want. You can enjoy Taliesin without the Chihuly, and you can have an experience of Taliesin with the Chihuly. And you get to decide. 
Leslie, do you think this kind of punctuates the beauty of the plants or does it detract from it? I think it just stays with it. It's like a nice, it's a nice contrast with it. They do see the artwork and then their eyes just naturally goes to the plants and then it becomes about the garden and sort of a, a, their own discovery. For PBS News Weekend, I'm Mike Saray.